Oh, thanks to Leon for those early races then. And now it's the big race of the day, really. The Coral Eclipse, the first big race where the three-year-olds come up against the older horses. And it's a 10 furlong Group 1, of course, at the top. We've got Arlington Swinger for Vinnie Gerard. Battleground for David Hooley. Badouin Van Vlanderen for Leon Van Rensburg. Desolate Shaw, Padre Hogan. Fuente Alamo, Darren Thompson. Major Tricks to David Hooley. Ragged Oroki, David Robertson. San Jose Brilliant for Vinnie Gerard. Alaskan Hestia for Craig Allen. Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes. Door to Door, Leon Van Rensburg. Humid Humber, Darren Thompson. Marketeer, Paul Rhodes. Poets Word, Dan Hughes. The Drunken Legend, Joshua Sutherland. Angela. Lika Rouge, Padre Horgan, Coolham, Lucinda, Paul Rhodes, Green Mantle, Craig Beckwith, and non applause. Craig Allen, so 19, and it's a big field for this. And spread right across the track, and away they go. And one or two of those wide are going to hope to try and get across to the inside before the turn but it's Arlington Swinger in the green jacket who's got the lead and the rail and stable mate San Jose Brilliance is coming through to challenge him in second as well Fuente Alamo is third and then comes Coolham Lucinda with Poets Word next and door to door looking wide on the track it looks like Joshua Sutherland's horse is quite wide the drunken legend also battling Van Vlanderen in mid pack another one who's wide is Dakar Girl but it's Arlington Swinger who's in the lead then by two lengths to stable mate San Jose Brilliance in second the grey Alaska and Hester is just about showing third from Poet's Word. Then after that one comes Ragged Oroki in door to door. Fuente Alamo is also well placed. The drunken legend wider on the track. Also widest major tricks to battle in Van Vlanderen. He's in mid division. Cool hand Lucinda towards the near side with Marketing. Humid Humber's also got the rail but got a lot to get by. And Angelica Rude and Desolate Shore towards the back. Green Mantle is out of shot. But it's Arlington Swinger who's the clear leader then by two as they race out towards the final five furlongs in the Eclipse already. Ready. And San Jose Brilliant's his second Poets Wood, third Alaskan Hester, fourth Badawin Van Vlanderen and Agador Oki trying to get into it as well. Cool Hand Lucinda as well. Drunken Legend still giving away ground. Wide on the track, past the four they go. And Arlington Swinger leads by two, but now Ragador Oki swoops through up the centre of the track to throw down a big challenge. Being chased immediately by door to door. Badawin Van Vlanderen is wide. So too is the Drunken Legend, but that one's now making some good progress. But it's still Arlington Swinger on this near side with the rail in the lead. Door to door now moves into second. The Drunken Legend is third, Ragged Oroki, and then Badawin Van Vlander and Angelica Rouge is trying to get into it from the back left, past the two furlong pole, and it's still Arlington Swinger in the lead, door to door, Ragged Oroki flying back again, Badawin Van Vlander and still trying to get into it, here comes Humid Humber with a big looking run, door to door, Ragged Oroki, Humid Humber on the near side, it's just Ragged Oroki at the moment from Humid Humber, they're inside the final half furlong, and Humid Humber has hit the lead, and Humid Humber is clearing, chased by Stableway Fuente out of but Humid Humber's going to take the exit, Humid Humber wins it. And the fast finishing Jose Brilliant in second. Alaskan Hester also finished well. But Darren Thompson has taken the eclipse and he's taken a 1 4 in it as well. San Jose Brilliant's got a second win. So Humid Humber wins it for Darren Thompson. San Jose Brilliant's for Vinnie Gerard second. Ragged Oroki, David Robertson third. Fuente Alamo for Darren Thompson fourth. And Alaskan Hestia for Craig Allen was fifth. Kulkan Lucinda for Paul Rhodes was the best of the three-year-olds finishing sixth.